been a bit of a week that was. Um, I actually quit work. No, shock horror. Um, I started to see the basically getting boxed in in the way that a the company works, but also from a financial point of view, the they start getting involved in commitments. You know, we've been looking at the apartment in Spain. We're still looking at it, to be honest. Um, so close that the mortgage was already organized, but I've decided to put a pause on it. Um, and the reason being is, work-wise, I'm not getting home as much as I would have hoped. Um, the commitment from the company is one way. Um, they would rather have sat in the UK waiting on the off chance there was a meeting uh, on quiet time rather than letting me go home. Um, it's just the way the company is. I'm not. Um, I don't work that way, but the company does. And do I think it's fair? The answer is no. Because um, you know, if you work for me, and somebody said, well, just on the off chance is work you got to sit in the UK, then I know some people go, oh yeah, but you uh, you work for the company, you should sit there all week. Um, I'm paid for a 37 and a half hour week. My average week is actually 55 hours. Um, I normally do at least 40 hours on site, plus like I'm working in Middlesbrough at the moment, which is a four hour drive each way. So I work six day week, um, and get paid for a seven and a half hour day for five days a week. So that argument doesn't really stand up um, because when we're busy, we're really busy. Um, but you're not paid for it. You're just expected to do it. So I was sort of sat there and I thought, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, I got my wonderful wife, April, in Spain and I've got my kids and um, basically I'm getting stuck in the UK um, for no reason and I say for no reason because the reason is if you were scheduling me for a meeting then you schedule me for it you don't just sit me on pods um, and it's, it's bizarre but anyway I have put my notice in now the funny thing is has it had a negative impact? Was I worried about losing my job? Was I worried about everything's going to go wrong? Um, I'm actually more relaxed. Uh, the reason being is that nothing really bothers me. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people, they worry about stuff. They worry about what happens if I lose my job. What about if I quit work and can't get another job? What about, what about, what about, what about? Um, the reality is, I would say, get some skills. What's happened with me, um, as soon as people were aware that I was leaving in September, because uh, I'm going to finish the task I'm on at the moment, because I want to show the difference between what I do and what other people do, quality-wise. Um, but several people have already approached me. Um, to the point where I wouldn't get a break in September if I basically took on what they were offering me. But I've had several people offer me full-time roles, but I'm looking more at going back to contracting. The reason I like contracting is, like with this Middlesbrough contract, it's basically going to be about two and a half months um, of surveying. The advantage with that is I'll do the two and a half months, then I'll take a month off in Spain. Um, then something else will come in, do another couple of months, and take another month off. So financially, uh, what's the downside? The answer is zero. The amount of tax you pay in UK, like last year when I took three months off work, if I'd worked a whole year, um, compared to that, the difference would be zero. Because um, I paid less tax because I had three months off work. Um, so I ended up basically getting my money back that I'd given away in tax, a lot of it. Um, and that's, that's where you start thinking, well, I'm not being funny. There's too many uh, people on my back. Um, in the UK, that is par I call it Parasite Britain. Um, the reason being, 
you got a lot of unemployed people that believe that they have a right to your money because um, you go out and work while they sit there in their track suits and super strength, sorry, or whatever. Um, I might say, on the, I'm not about all unemployed people. I know it's very hard for some people to get work, but some people are just scroungers, you know, like fourth generation parasites. Um, fair enough, they're useless. Um, I wouldn't want to employ some of the people. But the burden of tax has got so, it, it's just got stupid to the point where I can take three months off work and actually be financially no worse off because I pay that much. Um, and I know there's other people in a similar thing where you thought, you know what, why don't I just work part time? Because this is the thing, a lot of people do eventually go part time because um, they realise they're better off. So let me get this right, so skilled people quit work and go part time because they're better financially by not working full time. That means there's a problem in the system. Uh, it's one that's being ignored. Um, I just don't get it myself, but m myself, um, I was seeing I was getting boxed into going back to the corporate world and I'm moving away from it. I don't mind doing all the stuff I do uh, for them, but I'm not selling my soul. Um, I'm not a, what people call a company man. Um, for example, I care about the guys that are my engineers, I care about how things run, I care about um, making processes efficient. So a lot of time it goes against the, the grain because people make mistakes, um, rather expensive ones, and then you're stuck with it because they've invested that much money in it. So with that in mind, you putting something right is not popular. Um, so you end up with all this stuff that just doesn't work. Um, I, can't, I can't be specific, but people that know, know, and those that don't, um, it won't really affect you because it's actually inside the corporations. But it shows you when things get too big that they create problems for themselves. There's a lot of, like those glasses, you know, that, I was talking before about my glasses I got for work. Um, the rigmarole, I went through that and it was just a waste of time. That's just a very small thing of inefficiency in big big, big business. Because um, it would have been cheaper just to give me £200 worth of glasses uh, than faff about for a £20 voucher. It may sound crazy, but my time is worth more than the £200. Um, if I'm dedicating a few hours to a project, f like for getting those glasses sorted, fill out this form, do this, do that, it costs more than the two hundred pounds. As simple as that. Um, I remember this when I was at first at college. Um, the guy that was actually running the college was on about a kettle. He said they only needed a plug. But the amount of time it took him to go and get a plug, uh, go and get a fuse, change the plug. Uh, he only needed a fuse. By the time he went and got a screwdriver, found a fuse, changed it in, he'd have better thrown it in the bin. Um, because one hour of his time at that time was £60 an hour. A kettle was only £15. So that's, a, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of logic where you're better off just saying, give them that because it's actually more efficient it's cost effective to give somebody something also with things like glasses it's to the company's benefit that I can see what I'm doing um, but yeah I basically quit um, the funny thing is I'm still expecting that there'll be a continuation of work I worked with the same company for nine years um, it was just originally I took the role on because we we're looking to go to UK um, but I don't like working for companies. Um, I'm too independent and I care too much about things. I get too involved in politics in business because there's too many inefficiencies. 
and people don't appreciate you actually saying, well, what you're doing is crap. There's actually a better way of doing it. Um, it's a bit like my app for doing asset surveying. It, it, it's very cheap. It's come from somebody that designed it for something completely different. It's not my app, personally. I didn't develop it. I manipulated it to do what I needed it to do. Um, but that only costs like £12 a piece. Why would you want that when you can charge £50,000 for developing something that will do um, virtually the same? Welcome to big business. <laughs> so yeah, I do struggle with stupidity because I see it as stupidity because... Is it stupidity? I would call it... It's a blend of stupidity and patting people's people patting themselves on the back um, because they create work out of nothing instead of sorting the work out that needs actually sorting um, but that's life it's just life that's the way things are doesn't mean I'm giving up um, in fact all I'm doing is actually moving things over to do things so I can spend more time with April and the kids at the same time, um, when I go back to contracting financially, here, here's the other thing. If I go back to contracting, my rate goes up from, well, it basically goes up by about 150%, um, which basically means I can work six months of the year and still end up with the same amount of pay, um, or even more. This is a bizarre thing because when you go self-employed, all my flight for Spain will be absorbed as an expense, bringing down my total income. Um, if I buy a new car, it's a company car. If I buy a new mobile, telephone, new laptop, new computer, um, office equipment, it's all tax deductible. And that's what I'm looking at doing now, going back to contracting. Because I don't need to work all year round. I don't want to work all year round. Um, I stopped all that back in 2007. And I'm not letting it happen again. That's why I had to make the decision to pull the plug. Uh, well, I said a lot of people may find it difficult to make that decision. But you'll also hear people like myself later down the line saying it's the best decision I ever made. Um... Because you're free. Freedom is not just about um, traveling or uh, people talk about free free rights and stuff. Free rights are inside a framework, which basically means it's not free anyway. Um, people complain about somebody with a ISIS flag at the um, Buckingham Palace or something last week. For me, I just think, it's not, I really don't care. Um, but a lot of people are concerned if they did the same with the Union flag, that they wouldn't be allowed to. Well, there's a simple reason that you could probably do it and find out. Instead of making assumptions, wrap yourself in a union flag and go down to Trafalgar Square or wherever they were with the ISIS one and see what happens because the answer is probably nothing. Um, was the guy allowed, should he be allowed to wear his flag or whatever? Personally, it's a difficult one. Um, purely because if you stop somebody doing something even if it's stupid you're actually removing somebody else's rights. It doesn't matter if you agree with them or not, it's all about that freedom. Um, it may sound crazy, I know, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also always getting into arguments with people because I'm aware of how things get manipulated. Um, most of the legislation relating to the um, security after Blair and Blair's little projects loads of laws went through, loads of regulations relating to security for our protection and they basically ended up 
using them on the British public. Which basically meant it made no difference to terrorism. The people that were losing their rights was the British citizens. Um, that's why I'm a bit, mm, should you be allowed to do that or not? The answer is, I don't know. I'll just say whatever you're going to do, be very, very careful. Because you get told one thing and governments do another. You may find that you're restricting yourself more than the person that was wearing that flag. Um, it's just bizarre. I mean, I do find things like that bizarre. So that's why I prefer being overseas. Um, um, I was talking some about this the other day. The um, the fact is, in the Philippines or Spain, these problems aren't mine. Um, in the UK, you feel like you have to, well. Sorry, I feel like I have to do something, but I find generally Joe probably doesn't want to take your look. They'd rather go and watch the Minions or something. That's, um, that's the problem. Um, the people that seem to protest these days are students and cyclists. Um, it's all lost its direction. The country's lost its direction. But... It's funny how we get onto this, going off on tangent anyway. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm back to Spain, September. Um, be interesting times. Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah.